it's solid black. I thought it was loading a new scene. In reality, I needed to turn on the camera. Not the camera, the light. Okay, let's get out of here. Did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. He kicked you. He made you cry. Uh, the memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes. Yes. And that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. Okay, well, seems like Claudia and Vincent have been conspiring. I'm pretty sure they were in our motel room. Should be a short little jaunt back to our uh, room. I don't think any monsters are going to bother us. I was wrong, because I can hear one right now. Yeah, there's a pendulum. That's what they kind of look like when they're walking around. goodies. Well, it's worth a look. Now this looks like the area where James found the the dog key back in Silent Hill 2. Now which room was ours? 105, 106? Vincent's still here. Where's Douglas? 
He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. On the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far. Hmm, but closer than heaven. No, Vincent, you're a wise ass. wrong you don't trust me not for a moment well you know normally at this point i just start making my way to the amusement park what happens if you try to go back in the room i don't think i'll go back inside i really should go to the amusement park northwest on nathan avenue how's my health health is okay but my controller keeps vibrating like something's wrong Hello, Popper. I'm gonna let you be. A few of you aren't there. Again, as long as we keep moving, we should be alright. And looky, looky where we are. Yeah, we're back at the Lakeside Amusement Park. When we very first started this game, this is where Heather had walked in. And it's every bit as awful as it was in her dream. It's a giant rabbit costume. Isn't this the mascot from the local amusement park? Yeah, yeah it is. What's left of him? It's got pretty pop. Whoa, whoa, that's a pit. I think that's something twice I almost walked down that same pit. But yeah, Robbie the Rabbit. These guys got strangely popular. And look, another closer. Ow! So far, this is playing out exactly like our dream. I 
kick them always down. Back in the souvenir shop. I don't remember. Was there anything worthwhile when we came to the souvenir shop last last time? Oh, that's worthwhile. Probably gonna need that. Probably need that right now. that. The roller coaster key. There's nothing left in the cookie tin. I thought it was a cookie tin, but there was never anything but a key in it. Yeah, once again, Silent Hill. The... Packages are not what you full of, full of what you expect. Alright, now that we've saved, let's head back outside and see how else this is like our nightmare. Actually, while I'm at it. Yeah, healing sounds like a good idea. Careful, I don't want to run out of healing items. Oh, hello, doggy. Where the dogs? I hear pendulums. I see a pendulum. We're just gonna run away from them. Well, these jerks can fly, so they could very well just come right up here after us. And you remember this part of the nightmare? Get in there. I remember this part of the nightmare. We got run over by one of the roller coaster carts. Alright, looks like the roller coaster control panel. It's been left on. Yes, let's turn it off. Now we shouldn't get run over. Oh yes, take those health drinks. This must be some gadget to control a roller coaster. I don't know how to make it work though. And then there's whatever this is. What the hell is this? I feel like I'd catch something nasty if I touched it. It's really better not to mess with it. Not that I especially want to. Yeah, not quite sure what that is. But it's got all kinds of horrible, gooey, wormy things squirming all over it. Now still we want to be careful, so I don't end up running off this thing. Where is this going to take us? The roller coasters normally just go around in loops. Uh oh. Well, apparently something in Silent Hill didn't want the roller coaster to be off. Jump, Heather, jump! Meanwhile, in an undisclosed part of the park... ...to find the girl. And you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped. 
but it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived, because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when a lesser mother of God truly awakens... Yeah? What's gonna happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise? For castrated sheep, maybe. That's, that sounds pretty boring. Oh, I pity you. You still don't understand. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Now it seems like Douglas has had enough of Claudia's nonsense. And what about poor Heather? nothing unusual about it. Well, she's ended up on some other part of the amusement park. Still, be careful I don't end up running off a pit. There's nothing written on it. It's probably supposed to have some... It's probably supposed to have the ride's wait time on it or something. It's a popcorn wagon. Nothing very interesting. I missed what she said about the popcorn. Bugger. Okay, nobody's out here. Let's go inside. The Borley Haunted Mansion. So this part of the game is another, I don't know, infamous, famous part of the game. You'll get a chance to see why in a minute. But first things first, we are going to save. And we're also going to remove our bulletproof vest, if I can find it. And you know what? Might as well change now. Where are we? This one, I think. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. Alright, well, as we go through the Borley Haunted Mansion, that voiceover is going to tell us little stories. So we'll take the time and listen to them. sliced into bloody pieces in this room. Oh, the 
cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to. Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died by suicide. Dun, dun, dun. Now, we don't actually have to sit here and listen to everything he has to say, but I think we will, just for the fun of it. Uh-oh. Some creaky cracking. Ah, it's locked. No, oh, can't go that way. We'll have to go this way. That's Danny. A quiet young man, but quite friendly, as you can see. He was so eager to meet you. His hometown is New Orleans, but he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? Hi, Danny. The path to heaven. Well, we can't get past him. That's just a doll sitting in a chair. Is Danny the doll? Or is Danny that hanging thing? Well, whatever, no biggie. Jeez, it's real! This is a real dead body hanging here. I don't think they meant for this to be part of their attractions. Who would have done this? Either way, we're leaving. is quite old, so please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. Well, it may look like the floor is the problem. The problem is actually the ceiling. Depending on the difficulty setting, when you come through here, that ceiling can crash down and kill you. But if you hit the ready button... I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Yeah, we were able to walk under it safely. Now, what's about to happen is probably one of the most frustrating parts of the game. For me, at any rate. Um, so I'm just going to focus on finishing this next part. Bear with me for a moment. Ah, that was supposed to be the exit. But it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. I have to agree with them. Okay, all done. So that red light that was chasing us is uh, instant game over if it catches us. Hello. And it can be really tough getting by that the first time through. Oh, jeez. That's part of the reason I took the bulletproof vest off was we run much slower wearing the vest. Oh my, how hard did that thing hit us? Let's not sit here playing with him.
Dogs. Dogs and closers, right? Dogs and closers living together. Mass hysteria. This column here, wouldn't that work? Well, what do you mean, Heather? This door doesn't seem locked, but I can't open it. Get in there. Oh, hello. Ow. Flyer for some kind of musical for kids. Looks like they did it on this stage. Place is empty now, but I'll bet it was packed that day. So yeah, she's talking to this big stage that's over in the corner. Ooh, what's this? A chain. There's a light shining on the stage. Shining on something. A single red shoe. Well, that's probably important. This gate, it's not locked. Could it be rusted? I'm not strong enough to bolt budget, no matter how much I pull. There's gotta be a way. Well, there is a way. I'm gonna use this chain. Okay, attach the chain to the door handle. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half, though. Well, the other half, we're gonna hook up. Cliff this merry-go-round. Alright. And you can almost make out the chain. So now we can go inside. And we'll take those. The switch is off. Let's turn the switch on. is open. Douglas! You're late. Are you hurt? I can't move my right leg. It's broken. I'll call an ambulance. What? I don't think we'll come. Yeah, probably not. Don't worry. Get in your cell 
ever hurt like that? Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? I'm sure it'll be no big deal. But anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is how I got a mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of it. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. Remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Usually they don't. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing the bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like you. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. Okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. <sighs> Besides, my dad's not around anymore. So only I can do this. You might be right. 